Hi guys, welcome to another video by myself, Bates and 87 on the day of the Champions League final. One of these teams is featuring in that Champions League final. Do I want that team to win? Not really. I am a Liverpool fan. This team we're doing today, guys, is the best possible Real Madrid team which you guys can get your hands on on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Now, a massive shout out, guys. If you support yesterday on the World Cup game mode videos, obviously it's just pack openings at the moment, but if you guys haven't seen them, go back and check them out. There was three videos uploaded with another six coming before the release of the actual World Cup game mode on Tuesday. So make sure if you guys are not subscribed to hit the bell button so you never miss an upload on the channel. That'd be brilliant. Um, hit the like rate on this video, that'd be sweet. And guys, if you want MSP, PSN codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link's down below. So the team... Real Madrid, Champions League finalist, one of the most decorated clubs in the world, and it's going to be a tough match for Liverpool. Obviously, Liverpool are not bad at smashing and grabbing, um, especially in the Champions League, and I'm hoping they can do that for the 90 minutes to 120 minutes, and even on penalties, against Real Madrid later on tonight, and that's going to be the dream. But we're going to build the team, have a play around with it, and see how it does do. So in the goalkeeper position, guys, we are going to set it over... Uh, to La Liga, um, as I think I've got a majority, got rid of a majority of players. I'm probably going to get rid of a majority of players today as well, uh, after I've done this video. In net is going to be the 86-rated Kilo Navas, 89 diving, 88 reflexes, 84 handling, 82 positioning. Not a goalkeeper I enjoy. Uh, 23k paid, 4 games played, and uh, 6 foot 1. Pretty small for a goalkeeper, um, and it's noticeable from long-range shots into the top corner. He just can't get to them, um, but who knows, he may get a better card before the end of Ultimate Team. Any Anyway, in the centre back position, on the left hand side, guys, we have got Team of the Year Sergio Ramos. We've used him numerous, like 240 games, 13 goals, and three assists. Yellow cards, nine, one red card, 1.4 mil paid, but that was back in the days. Probably a lot cheaper than that now, but one of the best, if not the best, centre back on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. In the right hand side, we have Fernandez, 80 pace, 88 defending, 84 physical, 74 passing, and 86 rated. He goes into the team, and uh, he is probably. I probably say yeah, Varane is he's got an 85 card, but he's not higher rated. So if I probably put Varane in over uh, Nacho Fernandez, but pretty solid. Um, four games played, 75k paid. Right back, we have a player who's got a path to glory. It is Carvajal, uh, but the path to glory version is the same as this one. 82 pace, 79 dribbling, 82 defending. Not a bad um, defender. Four games, zero goals, zero assists, and then left back position. Another team of the year, guys. Team of the year, Marcelo. 90 pace, 95 dribbling, 92 defending. Base, base stats, brilliant. Four star skills, four star weak foot. High, medium work rates and 234 games played with him. And uh, eight goals and 29 assists. Very good overlapping um, defender. And that does obviously finish off the defensive side of the team. Um, apart from one player. One of the players in the centre midfield position. He's one of the best players in the game in terms of rating. He cuts out the, the problems in, in the midfield, um, which is the 94-rated Casemiro. If you guys have been around on the channel for a long time, you'll know that he's one of my favourite players in game. He could have do a bit more pace. 72 pace, 82 shooting, 90 passing, 88 dribbling, 95 defending, 94 physical. Um, four games played, no goals, no assists, but 238k paid is uh, pretty ridiculous. But he is a good player. And uh, I remember the back end of FIFA 17, I did absolutely love having him in my team. Centre midfield position, left hand side. Team of the season, Luka Modric. Uh, sorry, Tony Cruz. I might have said team of the year. It's team of the season, um, Casemiro, if I did say that. 6 7 pace. That's an issue, very noticeable issue. His dribbling doesn't feel feel as high as it is. 85 defending, 80 physical, 99 passing is brilliant, and uh, 92 shooting is brilliant as well. I think we have got a clip of a goal he did get in the team. Centre mid on the right hand side, team of the uh, year, Luka Modric. 80 pace, 86 shooting, 99 passing, 96 dribbling, 85 defending, 83 physical, 1.1 million paid, 201 games, 28 goals, and 60 assists. Four star skills, four star weak foot. Very, very good player. If you guys haven't used him before now, I would really recommend doing so. Um, he was uh, a really good player back in FIFA 17, team of the year, and same in FIFA 16 as well. So now we move on to the players which are meant to do the damage in attack. The first one is... The untradeable player, actually, an untradeable 94 rated Isco, which I was lucky enough to get. 79 pace, he does feel like a little bit slow. 93 shooting, not bad at shooting from outside the area. 93 passing, he feels a lot lower than that. He was making some very loose passes. He's dribbling spot on, but his passing felt way off. And you can see 11 games, 3 goals, 12 assists. So his passing doesn't look off, actually, um, with the 12 assists, but. 
And what can you say? I, I like him, um, and I presume a lot of you guys do as well. In the striker position, we have two godly strikers. So you can see that Team of the Year Ronaldo isn't getting in, but the 99 rated Ronaldo, who has lucky enough the pack, is getting in. 15 games, 25 goals, and uh, 5 assists. He didn't really get many goals in this team, though, and I actually had him there. And then in the striker position up top, we have the 91 rated Bale. He's got a 92 rated card in right midfield, um, but we had to play it like this, guys, get the highest rated players in there and you can see literally the three lowest rated players in the team at 86 and 84 and the rest are 90, mid-90 range to high 99s, as you can see there. Um, but you can see Gareth Bale, um, 490k paid, 4 games, 7 goals and 1 assist. You guys will see all them goals as well. Um, but that is the best possible Real Madrid team you can get on FIFA 18 on the team. There could be a standout player which does get a card release for the man of the match for the Champions League final. I'm hoping that isn't going to be the case, but that's only because I'm a Liverpool fan. Now, in the comment section below, guys, Get your comments in of what score you think the Champions League final is going to be. Going to be. Do you think Liverpool are going to walk away as winners for the sixth time? Or do you think that Real Madrid are going to walk it and stomp it as everyone is expecting them to do? I'm hoping for the earlier, but that's just me. Guys, leave a like on the video. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, and let me know if you have used any of these players, including Isco, who I'm very curious to get your thoughts on, uh, Casemiro, Tony Cruz, and, and uh, Ronaldo and Bale, we know how good they are anyway. Luka Modric, have you used him since Team of the Year? Same with Ramos and uh, Marcelo. Ramos is brilliant, really recommend him. Navas, not a fan. Maybe one of you guys does like him, and Carvajal as well. There's so many better alternatives in the right position on the game, and uh, he would have been one of my starting ones back in the day. That's it, done. Benzema, Varane, Varane, I know Benzema's got a higher rated card missing out. Asensio missing out and uh, Varane missing out as well. As well as maybe some others who I have added onto the bench and the reserves. So guys, leave a like here on the video. Subscribe to me if you are not subscribed already. And we'll be back another day with another video for you guys to enjoy. And hopefully enjoy the Champions League final tonight. But let's go and get into the highlights. We did manage to get the team. And guys, remember to check out the World Cup videos we uploaded yesterday. Which were three World Cup pack openings. Including 11 icons in, in packs. And also Ronaldo in a pack as well. And also a long pack opening. So you guys can see some of the new cards card ratings you've not seen before and uh, see how the animation does work. I enjoyed it, hopefully you guys do as well. So let's get into the highlights. So guys, moving on into the individually reviewed players of the team. Kilo Navas, avoid at all costs. I paid 23k for him, would not recommend anyone paying that money for him and just go for a bigger and better goalkeeper. And in terms of bigger guys, I mean taller because the height of Navas is an issue um, when it comes to trying to save shots. And there's so many better alternatives in La Liga where you can get the players. Um, in defence, team of the year, Sergio Ramos, team of the year, Marcelo, two of the best players and they were end game players when they were released um, are absolutely brilliant. Marcelo's got the pace, he's got the strength, he's got the skills and the passing and even the shooting as well when you're moving into an attacking position and defensively he can get back and do the business. The only left back I would say that in La Liga which is better than him and uh, maybe the same in terms of rating is going to be Jordi Alba, the uh, team of the season version and the only reason he's going to be better is because of the pace because we know how dominated foot is with pace in this game. Nacho Fernandez, Nep rated him as one of the best centre backs in the game when he was released back then. There's better alternatives to him as well. But he still does the job. Tall, fast, um, can uh, break up attacks pretty quickly as well. And when you partner with Ramos, you need someone solid because Ramos can go missing. Not go missing, but actually disappear into midfield and start doing midfield duties when he doesn't need to. And that's something I've known for, for a long time of him. And if you guys use, use Ramos, you'll know basically exactly what I'm talking about because... Uh, as good as he is, he can go drifting and you need that centre-back to sit back and thankfully Nacho Fernandez does do that. The right-back of Carvajal was good at the start of the game. That rated card is not good anymore. Uh, Marshall, the games we played against Marshall, we did get absolutely ridiculed um, down that wing with him and Carvajal just got caught out of place a few times. And there we are, guys. Um, a penalty shootout, which Real Madrid uh, win, you know. Hopefully it doesn't happen tonight, being a Liverpool fan, but uh, let's hope if it does go to penalties that Carrius is on point, and the same with our players as well as uh, Roman picking up another penalty shootout win. Um, moving on into the midfield now, Luka Modric, one of the best centre uh, centre midfielders in the game, both defensively and offensively. He can get back, he can get forward, he can shoot, and he can assist. That's something a good all-round midfielder can do. The only better player I would say in the game, better than him, two players, sorry, is uh, Team of the Year of Team of Season De Bruyne and also the Rude Hullet card, the icon, prime icon, uh, or even the middle icon as well because they're very dangerous players. Um, and you guys will know if you played against them <clears throat> or even with them as well. Moving on uh, into the defensive midfield position, sort of anyway, it's centre mid. Uh, it is going to be Casemiro. Casemiro is a good 
break it down type of midfielder. He'll sit in the midfield, he'll break it all up, he'll pass it out. But if you move into the attacking with him, you're going to lack it. Now, I, he has got decent shooting stats, but I think it's just shot power. Um, he's not like a long shotter like a lot of cards are, but... It was fun. He's been one of my favourite cards in FIFA for a very, very long time. And I presume the same for a lot of you guys as well. And uh, then we move on. Tony Cruz. Lack, very high rated, slow. Dribbling doesn't feel as high, but I think that's purely down to the pace as well. Um, Isco, really enjoyed him, apart from his shooting. Uh, sorry, passing. His passing fell off. I think if his passing was sorted, he would be one of the best ones in the game. Um, but obviously... I don't know, we got untradeable, so it didn't really cost us anything in the bank. And the two strikers, Team of the Season Ronaldo, absolutely brilliant. Team of the uh, Week, uh, 91 rated Bale is brilliant as well in the centre forward position slash striker, which we are playing him at as well. Um, scored a numerous amount of goals in this team, and it was the same with Ronaldo. Them two have partnered brilliantly and uh, did the work. He scored a really nice goal there with Gareth Bale against Marshall. Um, so, yeah, if you're going to take any players away from this team and put them into your main one, guys, so Sergio Ramos, Team of the Year, Team of the Year, Marcelo, Team of the Season, Casemiro, Team of the Year, Modric, Team of the Year, or Team of the Season, Ronaldo, and also uh, Bale, if you are in someone, if you, if you are into your informed cards, Bale is very good. You can see his dribbling is brilliant, he's shooting with his left foot and right foot, spot on, and does the work. So, guys, leave a like on the video, subscribe down below, and uh, feel free to let me know in the comments and score lines you think the Champions League final is going to be. Until next time, bye bye.